got a few viewers. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Say hi as you pop in and let us know where in the world you're watching from. I am tossing a quick coat of coffee bean onto this slick, uh, slick sticked, and that's a mouthful, tissue box um, while we wait for people to join, which I won't be waiting much longer. We're gonna get started in just a sec here and talk about what we're doing today. So we have Lori. Hi, Lori. Hello, Dixie Bell. Ashley's here from Dallas. Hi. We have Valerie from Fresno, California. Beth Ann, New Orleans. Always wanted to go there. I have a feeling I'd love it. And Thelma from Alabama. Okay, guys. So I can paint and talk at the same time. I am Bianca, owner and artist of Lotus Theory Designs, and I am a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint Company. So myself, Leah of Leah Noel Design Co., and Amy of AJ's Vintage Designs have something pretty cool planned for Tuesday. We're going to come together and do a, a live with the three of us. And the topic of our live is going to be Flip That Thrift. And our idea was to come together so, and, and go to like Goodwill, thrift, uh, thrift stores, wherever, grab some small items like this tissue box here and see if we can repurpose them using Dixie Bell products, specifically transfers, which we'll do on Tuesday. So we're prepping for that um, and, and have fun together with all of you in the meantime. So to make it even more fun, we're going to do something called Spill the Tea while we're flipping our thrifts, where we will give, I guess, the world an opportunity to get to know us a little bit better with some fun, quirky questions. Um, I'm not sure what those look like yet. Leah is in charge of that portion. So I'm kind of excited to see how I'm going to be thrown off uh, by some of her questions for us. But anyway, so that's the purpose of what we're doing today for our live. I thought, you know, instead of um, doing something you know big and grand and different how about i segue into tuesday so you guys will be able to watch me paint my little thrift store finds today and on tuesday we're going to dress them up with some of dixie bell's transfers okay so let me just set this down i didn't quite think my hand position through that's okay it's just an undercoat let me touch that up a little bit okay so when i went to Goodwill. I actually had a good day shopping at Goodwill. I came across a few items that we're going to use for Tuesday. So I have that tissue box that you saw me using a second ago. Let me put this in some water. I grabbed a mailbox, which I will show you in just a sec here. Ha, Dixie Bell says, sounds fun. Can't wait to hear the questions. Yeah, I can't either. I'm almost nervous. Be nice to us, Leah. Be nice to Amy and I. Um, okay, so where'd I leave off? I have a mailbox. I, you guys, I don't know why, but I've always wanted to paint a mailbox. So here we go. And to prep all of these items, all three of these, I also have this little uh, tabletop sign thing. I'm going to do something fun with that. Probably won't get to it today, but you'll see what I do with it. I have a whole vision in mind. Um, anyway, so we're going to paint all these today, or at least what we can. Um, they're coated. I so this is metal. This was I'm not sure what it is, but it's not wood. And so for these two items specifically, I went ahead and I coated them using Dixie Bell's slick stick um, because I knew that if I just put the paint like on the metal, it it wasn't gonna stick. Okay, so I did two coats slick stick on each, and then this has two coats cotton. So Dixie Bell's white is white, and I actually did do cotton on that as well. Probably can't see it. Here we go. Okay. Um, but I'm changing my mind because I think I want to do something kind of grungier and use some of these transfers on it. This is the, what is this one named? Hot air balloons. Hot air balloons and clocks transfer. Okay. 
So I thought some of these small elements would look fun on that. So that's why I threw a basic coffee bean on there. We're gonna let that dry while we work on something else, okay? For this, I'm thinking possibly the floral one here. Sorry guys, I've got stuff everywhere. Here we go. Possibly this one. Maybe we could layer it with this one, the lace transfer. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. But I think those two would look fabulous together. All right. And if you guys have questions in the meantime, go ahead and ask. So I want this to dry. This is the one that I'm excited about because I'm going to go grunge on it. And then for this one here, I was thinking, again, you're just going to have to wait to see what I do to this. Um, but I was thinking the cactus and succulents here. So all right enough of all that right let's start painting so i think i'm going to start with this so because i wanted to do the cactus and succulents i was thinking i would go ahead and get some of the base started anyway as much as i can and i grabbed mint julep because i thought that it would look nice with this transfer so let me open it up Here we go. Okay, so pretty, right? This has been one of the popular transfers. I love the way that all of the different elements can be layered and used in different ways. And there's no way I'm gonna get through this entire transfer on this one tiny thing. So I have plenty of transfer left or will have plenty of transfer left um, to do something else with. So I grabbed mint julep. I really need a third arm. Anybody else feel me on that? Here we go. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a little bit on the base here. So I know you can't see it, I'm just opening it up. All right, so we have the base here. Let's see if I can tip it so that you guys can see it. Angela wants to know, and I can paint and talk at the same time. I probably should have grabbed the bigger bigger artist brush. I see you, Angela. Give me just a sec. Okay, so Angela wants to know, why do you suggest Dixie Bell paint over the others? Well, um, okay, so I feel like I need to start by telling you, I haven't tried absolutely every paint that's out there. So prior to joining the Dixie Bell family, I 99.9% .9 of the time painted using a different type of paint. So not a chalk base paint, I used enamel paint. And I discovered Dixie Belle paint because I had a local retailer here and I saw her advertising somewhere and thought, well, let me try that because blending was starting to come into style and enamel is fabulous, but I was finding it was hard to blend. So I picked up some Dixie Belle paint and my first blended piece wasn't great, but you know, I was proud of it nonetheless. It was my first time I tried something new. And what I remember about that is that the blending was so easy and really quite effortless. And even though it didn't come out as good as some of my work now, obviously with practice things, you know, you get better at things. Um, I just remember it being really fun, just fun. I had a lot of fun. So with that said, I just kind of, stuck with it you know when you find something that works for you you stick with it and that's kind of what happened and you know over time i became a brand ambassador for dixie bell paint so i've used as far as other chalk based paints i've used like the kind that you find maybe at your local craft store okay and for me i liked the um paint better for one it just seemed to blend easier and I found that I feel that it cured a bit harder than some of the other paints at the craft store. I love this color, you guys. It's so soothing. Um, so I feel like somebody else might be able to better answer that question. That is maybe use some of the other brands that we see out there. Um, but for me, it's like, if it ain't broken, <laughs> Why fix it? I love the paint. I have absolutely no complaints about it. I've been I've been a, a brand ambassador now for, well, I'm coming up on a two year anniversary. And truly, I 
I've just had so much fun. Hopefully that answers your question. So Jennifer likes the lace with feather transfers. That would be lovely. Let's see, what else? So Lisa says, it's a great product. Goes on great and is easy to use. Price point is great and is made in the USA. Um, I'm glad that you said that because, you know, as an American, I love to buy things that are USA made and support local businesses, companies that specifically make their products here in the USA, you know, obviously that supports our economy. So I, that's one of the reasons that I love Dixie Bell. So I'm glad that you said that. Um, and yeah, the price point, I have noticed that compared to some of the other, other brands, let me keep going because that's still drying a bit. We're going to get to the fun thing in just a sec. Apparently we're just having a chat um, in the interim. But I have noticed that some of the other brands are a bit more in cost than the Dixie Bell. And I like that too. Who doesn't like to save a buck, right? What else you got? We're just chatting today, guys. Just kind of a relaxed live session here. This is how I like to paint anyway. Okay. I like to just kind of hang out, chat. If I wasn't with you guys, I'd have my music going probably singing off key a little bit. Okay, so that's going to be cute. I'm leaving this white, okay, because like I said, I have a whole idea and um, it will involve, I'll give you a hint. So the, where is it? The succulent transfer here. So it's going to be so cute and it will involve some decoupage, okay, so that's a little hint for you and some scrabble pieces. Okay, so I have a whole crafty thought going on here. But in the meantime, we're gonna let this dry. That's gonna be ready to go for Tuesday. I cannot wait. So Ashley says, I've used three other top brands, which I loved until I found Dixie Bell. It's night and day for me. I mean, yeah, why don't you guys tell, tell me, why do you like Dixie Bell? I mean, I'm an ambassador. Of course I love it. Why do you guys love it? You're here for a reason, right? Let's talk. All right. I think this is dry enough. We're moving forward. Still a little bit tacky, but that's okay. Okay. Let's get grungy with it. <laughs> Jennifer, I always sing off key. Yeah. Who cares, right? As long as you're having fun. So I grabbed a few colors off the shelf here. I'm just going to open them up and I'll tell you what I'm using as I go. Jody says, I've used a few brands and I felt the same and followed a similar journey. Exactly. Ashley says, I just finished a piece with the succulents transfers and mint julep and antebellum blue. Antebellum blue. This is one of my favorite, fav I use this color so much. So I'm excited to be able to use it again today. Yep, Renee likes the coverage of it and the price point. That's true. I mean, I just did this right now. Look at the coverage. And that's over white. Still kind of drying, obviously, but I pretty much have full coverage. All right. So where's the dryer spot? We'll start on the dryer spot. Okay, let's get grungy. Get one of my plates out. All right. So I think I'm just going to stipple. Okay. If you guys follow me, you know I love my stippling. There we go, put this where you can see it. And I think I'm just gonna alternate between these colors, see if I get something that I like, and if I don't, I can paint over it. So coffee bean on the base, okay, I did that really quick when we started the live. I'm putting a little bit of colored greens. This is a deep, deep green by Dixie Bell. I love this color, I use it quite a bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna start to stipple and hope that <laughs> it's dry enough the undercoat here when I do a little bit of blending. Okay, so let's toss a little bit of that antebellum blue in there, see what we get. Again, we're using the hot air balloons on this come, come Tuesday, okay? So I'm getting the paint on there now. And industrial grunge, it's totally my favorite style, makes me happy, so. So, so far I've used Collard greens, antebellum blue, that was a little bit of pine cone. And then this is just some weird color I came up with. 
I don't even remember what I put into it. Okay, but it's kind of rusty looking. So let's just toss that in there. Okay, and I have, I love this brush, new Best Stain brush, okay, Dixie Belle. Now that I've stippled that on there, let me just take a little bit of water. Okay, and you can totally use this on furniture. So everything I'm showing you guys, use it on furniture too. And let's just see what we get. Let's do like a soft blend. Just kind of gently rub these colors together and hope that the under coat is dry enough. Okay, so I'm just kind of swirling this brush. Okay, and some of that coffee bean is poking through. I'm okay with that. That's what I was going for. What do you think? That was easy. That's the cool thing about these little crafts, right? So they're just, they're quick, they're easy. You can experiment with them. So again, get this out of there. All right, so this is what I'm going for, okay? I'm gonna use some of these elements on this on Tuesday. That'll be cool. I like it. Let's do a couple more sides. So same brush, Just a tiny bit of paint on my brush. Dixie Belle says, best staying brush is good for a bit of blendy, smoky action. Yes, and that is my favorite blend style is the smoky type. So I'm just kind of sporadically tossing the uh, stipples in the different colors. Let's jump back to this weird color that I made up here. I wish I could remember what I put in it. This color here. Sometimes I mix up my leftover paints and see what happens. Yeah, and a tiny bit of pine cone. Very underrated color, by the way, pine cone is. Jan says, I prefer score up jars versus cans that rust. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Oops, let me spray that with water. Okay. Just kind of keep the paint pliable. Just do a little bit of swirling. Now, when you do this, you don't want to do too much. You don't want to blend it too much because you'll start to get mud, especially with these, these colors here. Okay, so notice that I just kind of went over it just enough to blend that paint together. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, I didn't keep going. This side's taken a bit to dry. Got some crusties. Got a couple crusties on there. That's my fault. Leave these paint lids open. One trick actually for you guys before I move forward. And I try to remember to do this, but as these sit open. If you just put a little bit of water on the lid like that, as it sits open, it should keep it from crusting. The problem is, you know, remembering to do that. Half the time, I don't. Okay, so let's do a couple more sides here. <laughs> Dixie Belle loves those crusties. Okay, so I'm going to start moving a little bit faster. I know, Dixie Bell said, I hate those crusties. I need new glasses. <laughs> I put them on today because I'm sitting further away from the computer. And I still can't see. Kind of has this cool camo effect going on, huh? So, you guys, talk to me. What kind of projects are you working on? Have you used the transfers? What are your thoughts? I think if you go to Dixie Bell's main page, which is some of you are watching from there, because we're on my page, my YouTube page, and Dixie Bell's page, there is a giveaway going on right now. You guys should get in on that. Giveaway for transfers. And I believe 
they're using one of my pieces on there, on today's post anyway, which I used the Magnolia transfer on. As far as the mailbox that's here, I showed you guys the transfers earlier. You can pull them out again in a sec, but I am either gonna leave it white or I was thinking about doing some kind of a blend. What are your thoughts? So for the mailbox right now, it's white. I was thinking, and I'm not committing, but putting this on the mailbox. Should I just leave it white or put something underneath it? Okay, so I have, there we go. Interesting little blend going on here, don't I? So again, with those hot air balloons, I think that's gonna work. And of course, I can always take it further, grunge it up a little bit more. But because it's gonna be going under transfers, um, that's the nice thing about using transfers is that your, your blend underneath does not have to be perfect because it'll be covered up quite a bit. So one more time and then I'll do the top and then I think we'll be done. So pretty quick live today, not super duper exciting, but I really needed to get this stuff prepared for Tuesday and had to sneak in, sneak it in somewhere. So I'm doing it here with you guys today. So I'm just kind of slapping some on the top and then I'll be done with this one pretty quick. And I'm just using the same brush for all of this. A little bit of water. And light pressure, just a little bit of swirling, just to kind of muddle those colors together. Looks good. Hi, Gloria. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer says the box is gonna look great with the transfers. I'm excited. I'm really excited to put that on there, that holiday balloon transfer on there Tuesday. I think it's gonna be good. I'm just gonna have to keep myself from doing it before our live. <laughs> So any questions for me? That was pretty simple, pretty easy. I would paint the mailbox, but honestly, I'm not sure what I want to do to it. Um, that's what we did so far today. Okay, and then the mailbox, of course, is is here. That dried quick. All right. So I've got slick stick on it, two coats of white. We'll see. And when I'm done with my brushes, I like to just toss them in some water. I have a cup of water back there. They will keep for quite some time that way. So again, quick live, wasn't a grand piece of furniture. Um, I actually have something underneath here prepared. Well, I was trying to prepare it, but there's just not enough time in a day. I can show it to you though. All right. I tried, I really tried to get it done for you guys or get it prepped, but it just didn't happen. So hard to see, I know, but I grabbed this from Goodwill. I never have that kind of luck at Goodwill. So you'll see it, you'll see it, see it soon enough. All right, any other questions for me before I sign off? Give me just a sec to move this out of the way and I'm gonna show you the graphics so that you know when and where to join us on Tuesday. Where are we at? There we go. So Amy, AJ's Vintage Designs. Leah, Leah Noel Design Co. Okay, so our Flip That Thrift Live will be Tuesday. Okay, that's this Tuesday coming up. And five o'clock, my time here in Arizona. Seven o'clock p.m. Leah's time, eight o'clock p.m. Amy's time, so that's obviously Central Eastern. We will be live here on 
um, the Dixie Bell page, my Facebook page, my YouTube page, as well as their pages. So really you can watch from any, any one of those pages and you won't miss it. It'll be a lot of fun. Of course, you can catch it on the replay. So any questions for me? Yeah, Gloria, you should make the live. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. I love doing group lives like that. Okay, well, um, if you do have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll come back and check. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Um, have a good one. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs>